We are back in the war room once again. Everybody ready to go as we make oh, yeah. our way down to Miami? You know, we've cut the playoff field in half, and we should remind everyone, three weeks ago, we didn't do a bad job in here. We said Almarola would go home, Clint Boyer, Ryan Blaney, and Alex Bowman. So we got half of those guys right. Let's start moving drivers. And as we've talked about so many times, performance in the regular season and early in the playoffs gives you an advantage when you reach this stage. With that, Kyle Busch, plus 40. You look at the tracks we're going to, he's going to Miami, right? We all agree, driver 18, no debate there. No debate. Let's move Kyle Busch. And if you move Kyle Busch, and then you look at Kevin Harvick, who enters 39 points above the cut line, you could probably argue he's even better at Martinsville, Texas, and ISM than Kyle Busch. We got to move Kevin Harvick, right? I agree, yeah, yeah, absolutely. After you move Kyle Busch and Kevin Harvick, it is going to be an absolute dogfight. Throughout the season, so much of the conversation has centered around what we have dubbed the big three. Next in line in that category is Martin Truex Jr. I say driver 78 is plus 23, you have to move him. Uh, and I, I, I know they have a lot of playoff points, but just think about this round of 12. They just barely made it into the round of eight. They've not won since Kentucky back in July. It's just something missing there right now. I'm just not sure about that. You know what's yet. not missing? Those playoff points that he has. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he barely got yeah. in here. That's what got barely him in. Got, barely That's got exactly in from what here got to here. here. I think those, he's got enough playoff points. I think his performance is going to be good enough to move him into the if final. I agreed, if I agreed with you, we'd both be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> The one thing we've not talked about is is the uncertainty of his future and, and what impact, if any, that could have at this stage of the year where you can't have mistakes. I've been in that scenario before where a team is shutting down or, or, or things are going away. And no matter how hard you try to make it not happening, not really going on, and that not be a distraction, it happens every single time. Who are you most confident in when you look at those other six drivers? <laughs> Who's won three of the last 11 races? <laughs> I talked about momentum. <laughs> yeah. When you get to the playoffs, you need that momentum. And that team, Chase Elliott, Alan Gustafson, those guys think they're unbeatable right now. The fact that Chase has done so well and that team just put it together and had so much speed, it would be very hard to not put them into that, that final four. You almost performance right now today, you almost put Chase in front of those two right there. If you zero out the, the playoff points. Let's go around the table. Everybody gets a driver. Who would be your next driver, Michael? You lead us off. Momentum, Chase Elliott. Yeah, and I'm gonna go with Chase on that as well. Martin Truex Jr. Sorry, Andy, Chase Elliott. Okay, majority rules. So we've got three of the four. <laughs> Mark the tape. There goes Chase Elliott. <laughs> Do you know who's laying in the weeds? Never thought I'd say this, but, but just quietly lurking. Kurt, Kurt Bush. Bush. We, we haven't said his name. We didn't talk about him a whole lot when we were here three weeks ago, but yet... When All we of a sudden, I don't have a good feeling about putting him in that last spot because we're really not talking about it. If you look at the six playoff races, two top fives and then everything else is outside the top 10. I, I just don't know if you can have a round of eight like that. Eric Almirola, unbelievable story in the playoffs. Makes it to the round of eight. Got the big win at Talladega. Performance has been good, but 12 below the cut line. We all feel comfortable. Eric, despite the fact that he's had an unbelievable run, he's not going to advance. Probably going to prove us wrong. So that takes us to three drivers for one spot. Joey Logano, Clint Boyer, Martin Truex Jr. I'm going to give a tip of the cap to Joey Logano. Is Logano the fourth guy? Historically, he's been outstanding in the playoffs. Nobody has been more consistent throughout this entire playoff than Joey Logano. I know they've not been to victory lane. They've only won the one race earlier in the year. He's been knocking on the door at various years to be really in the championship hunt, and I think this might be his year. Why can't we make a case for Clint Boyer and say he's going to be a part of the championship? He is my other guy. Clint Boyer's tough. He's country tough. And when he goes to a track like Martinsville, he knows how to get the job done. We were just there in the spring, and he won. And that team, obviously, fast cars, Boyer. Clint Boyer, Joey Logano, Kurt Busch, Eric Almirola. Every one of them today would trade in their situation for Martin Truex Jr. Every one of them. Every one of them. It's still too many points to make up on Martin Truex Jr. That team is going to be in the Final Four. Casey, who's your selection of those three? Andy, you convinced me a little bit. I don't think You've the 78. You've been brainwashed. I agree that the 78 isn't going to run poorly enough to offset the points that he has to not make the I got to tell you the truth. He almost won me over. 
I'm sticking to my guns. Uh, obviously, I'm going to lose the battle. I see speed and consistency with Joey Logano on that 22. If uh, y'all don't put him over there, I think we're making a mistake. All right. I've always said majority rules. You guys are the experts. And let me just say, if these are the four that end up in Miami, no one will be surprised. But if we got it wrong, no one will be surprised. <laughs> the championship four, in our eyes, Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick, Chase Elliott, Martin Truex Jr. going after the title in 2018.